we may need to set the pulse outputs. To do this, we need to do two things. We need to enable the pulses on each of the outputs and set the pulse characteristics for each of the outputs. So we go to main menu 7 outputs and select how we want each of the outputs to be set. In this case, I am setting each of the outputs to have a function in the positive and negative directions independently. So output 1 will give pulses when the uh, flow rate is positive, output 2 will give pulses when the flow rate is negative. Next, we need to set the characteristic of each pulse. In this case, I am setting one pulse per meter cubed, but I can freely select exactly which unit of measure and the volume characteristic of each pulse. Next, we need to set the pulse duration. This can be between 9,999 milliseconds and 0 0.4 milliseconds. In this case I will set the pulse output to have a pulse on time duration of 20 milliseconds.